Frog's Point honey. Let's cook. For this recipe, you're going to need two boneless, skinless chicken breasts, some flour, panko breadcrumbs, cooking spray, Swiss cheese, preferably Lorraine, but this processed stuff will be good, grated Parmesan, salt and pepper, Dijon mustard, sliced ham, an egg, and some toothpicks. As usual, exact amounts are in the description down below. Butterfly your chicken breast by holding it flat with one hand and running your knife through to cut it in half almost all the way through, then open it like a book. Repeat with the other one. Cover them with plastic wrap and then beat them gently with a rolling pin. You don't want to pulverize them, you want to flatten them until they're about a quarter of an inch thick. Sprinkle them with salt and freshly ground pepper. But wait! There's a cross-contamination risk here, so when you flip sides, be sure to wash your hands in between before you touch your salt or pepper grinder. There, that looks good. On the non-pretty side, drizzle on some Dijon mustard. Add your cheese, then your ham, making sure they're spread out pretty evenly across each breast. Roll up the breasts and secure them with toothpicks, and don't be shy with those toothpicks, but I suggest counting them so you know how many to take out after you're done baking them. For your batter station, you're going to need three trays and a plate. The first tray should have flour, the second one beaten egg, and the third a mixture of two parts panko to one part grated parmesan. One breast at a time, coat them first in flour, then in egg, and then in the panko mixture. And don't be afraid to add extra toothpicks if you need them. The whole point here is to make something beautiful and delicious. When you're done, place them ugly side down on the plate. And then go wash your hands. Liberally coat both sides with cooking spray, and yes, wash your hands as you flip them over. Cross-contamination is no joke. Insert your probe thermometer into the thickest part of the thicker of the two breasts, and set it to go off at 162 degrees Fahrenheit. Put them in the air fryer preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Wash your hands again, and when the thermometer goes off, they'll look like this. Yum! Let them rest 10 minutes, remove the thermometer, and slice. Let's eat! Thank you for watching, everybody. Please click like down below, and don't forget to subscribe.